In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this image using FluxDev on Replicate.com. And um, let's start by going on Replicate.com. I'm going to go into the search bar and type, start to type FluxDev. FluxDE, and it will just go to complete at the top. Now, if you want to know more information about how to get up and running with Flux using Replicate.com, I'll put a link in the description box below to some beginners tutorials that I've done previously. So now we're into the main window. I'm going to paste a prompt that I pre-typed out just so you don't have to watch me type it in again. So two fingers of a human hand hold a microscopic fluffy ginger cat. I don't think the word human is needed there. I'm going to, I think it will it'll know that it's going to be a human hand. Two fingers of a hand hold a microscopic fluffy ginger cat. So what I'm looking for here is a bit of a surreal image where, you know, you've got this unbelievably small cat kind of perched between someone's fingers in the shot. I'm going to leave aspect ratio um, square at the moment. It's kind of quite flexible. This I'm going to ignore because it's nothing to do with the, I mean, it's only to do with the image generator, the image reference, which we're not using. Number of outputs, I might put three. Just do, have, just do a few. It's good to... Um, it's good to have a bit of variety when you're first looking, just to get a, just to get a sense of the different um, results. Number of steps, I'll leave that at 28. Guidance, I'm going to drop that to 3, unless we have to push it up. And if we do, I'll explain why, if and when I do it. Seed, I'll leave that blank. Output format is fine. I'm just going to put the output quality up to 90, because to me, there's quite a notable difference between 80 and 90. Now, there's this option appeared recently on... Um, flux within replicate that says go fast um it says here go fast and it's automatically checked and it says run faster predictions when model optimized for speed currently fp8 quantized disabled to run in original bf16 now i'm not going to get into the technical insights as to what fp8 and bf16 mean in this context in this video but what i will say is basically in a nutshell it makes the jobs faster if you have it checked therefore cheaper so it will cost you less because it's, it's quicker to run with the downside being it may not be quite as good quality as the version without it checked now i've done some tests of this not very scientific tests they've just been sort of casual tests that i've run on a few images and i've seen some of the generations i've seen where i've compared it on and off i've seen a notable difference and some of them i've seen no difference at all so it completely depend, depends on the prompt i'm going to uncheck that for this because i just want to use the normal full-on flux um sorry the flux dev mode without any kind of um sped up modifications in the background but that's up to you to um play with i'm going to do a video separately where we go head to head with a lot of fixed seed images using that option on and off and we'll just see with that what happens but for this I'm just going to um, run with the normal version because I kind of am more familiar with it. Okay, so here we've got a really cute image, but it's not quite what I want. That one's really cute as well. It's kind of getting there. This one is, this is, this is, <laughs> this is so cute. This is, um, this is kind of it. The bottom one is, is what I was really going for. 